In the next 100 days I will become Spider-Man 2099 in Minecraft Hardcore! My goal will be to save the Spider-Man from the multiverse, stop all the villains and also any anomalies to restore the canon of the stories! Can I defeat the Sinister Six and Venom? Watch until the end because we will find out! And the goal for this video is 50,000 likes for more videos like these! So please, please subscribe my friend to help me reach the 100,000 subscribers! And if you don't do it, I'll look for you and make you part of the canon! On day one, I appeared as Misaki the scientist! I feel super intelligent! As a normal human, I only had four hearts! Suddenly, a scientist arrived shouting! Miguel Saki, Miguel Saki, you must enter the laboratory! Everything is ready for the experiment! What? An experiment? What are you talking about, scientist? My name is Carlos, hurry and go to the machine, I'll be configuring the systems. I didn't really understand what was happening, but I quickly went down and entered the experiment machine. Okay, Miguel Saki, I'm going to activate the machine now, just stay calm and everything will be fine. I don't wanna die, Carlos, I need to finish watching my soap opera! Suddenly, the whole capsule started shaking, and my body began to undergo strange changes! Ah, what's happening?! Suddenly, there was an explosion that destroyed the machine and left me very injured. I only had two hearts left, but I still had more rows of life in my inventory. Whoa, what happened? I feel strange. In the distance, Dr. Doom appeared in the laboratory. Scientists, this place is now closed. Spider DNA will belong to Doom Industries from now on. What are you talking about, Doom? This experiment was approved by you. That's true, and besides, I already have the spider DNA in my body, I think. Impossible! That DNA belonged to me! Guards, capture him! What? All the guards rushed towards me to capture me! I quickly started escaping from this place and without thinking, I jumped off the building! Whoa, this can't be! I realized I had some claws in my inventory, so I used them to slide down the building. I think this was part of the experiment, I'm amazing now! When I reached the ground, there were many security alarms alerting the guards, and in the distance, I saw how they started coming after me! Oh no! Cut him! The Doom's guards! Without thinking, I started running and looking for an exit in this place. Darn it, they're too close! At one point, I found the exit and escaped from the place. I went in search of my brother, Jack, because Doom would surely be looking for him. So then, on day number two, I was heading towards my home. But when I arrived, I saw a bunch of Doom guards inspecting the whole area. Oh no! Those guards are looking for me, and my brother lives in my house. They've probably captured him already. Sir, there's no one at home. The whole area is clear. Mr. Doom won't be happy about this. Let's get out of here. We'll find Mikelsaki's brother. Oh no! They're going after my brother! I need to hurry! If you want to find out if I defeat Dr. Doom, stay until the end of the video! For now, I decided to go to Carlos' house to gather some information. Hey, Carlos! Are you home? Oh, but who's there? Mikelsaki? Are you alive? Quick, come in! I quickly entered his house and explained the whole situation to my friend. I also asked him if he knew anything about my brother. Well, it seems the experiment worked, but now you're a fugitive from Doom. You should be careful. I think your brother is working in the agricultural sector. Alright, perfect. Thank you, Carlos. Although I would need some clothes because, you see, I'm nearly naked. Of course, follow me. We went upstairs and Carlos showed me three suits that I could use. I was drawn to a Day of the Dead themed suit from Mexico. I took it out of the closet and immediately put it on. It fit me perfectly. I think this suit really suits me. Wow, my friend, that suit looks great on you. Now you can use your powers without anyone knowing who you are. I hope so, friend. Suddenly, some guards knocked on my friend's door! Scientist Carlos, we need to talk to you! Come out of the house right now! You better leave, my friend. Thank you for everything, Carlos. Be careful with Doom. I quickly left throughout Carlos's rooftop. Once on the roof, I expanded my claws and started scaling the buildings to find my brother Jack! How much will I get paid this time, Doom? If you capture that spider alive, I'll pay you 150 crypto coins. Well, that sounds like a deal. I'll bring that back back even if I have to go to the moon. 
Hurry venture. On day number three, I was heading to where my brother was working. In the distance, I saw him resting, but in reality, he was talking to an assassin. Oh no, that's venture. Doom's greatest assassin! Impossible! I won't repeat it, kid. Tell me where your brother is. I already told you, I don't know. I haven't seen him in a long time. I just work here, you idiot. What did you say? You'll pay for your disrespect. And the assassin attacked my brother. Ah! No! Hey, leave my brother alone! Migasaki! Well, well, so you are the scientist Doom needs. You'll come with me instead. That's not going to happen! Suddenly, an orange web shot out from my arms! What? What is this? What did you just do, Buck? You are just a crazy scientist. The assassin lunged at me and started attacking, but I drew my claws and counterattacked it quickly. He seemed overconfident, and I quickly used my abilities to defeat him. Uh, but what happened? You are not a normal human. I was misinformed. I am the new Spider-Man of this city. That's not possible. All the heroes died decades ago. You curse one. Migosaki, what happened to you? I don't know, Jack. An experiment gave me some strange abilities. But now we need to go. Doom's guards will be here any moment now. We quickly left the place and moved away from the city. During days 4 to 7, we left the forest and arrived at an uninhabited area. We quickly decided to gather some logs and craft some wooden tools, like a pickaxe, an axe and a shovel. After this, we went to a cave to gather some stone. With rocks in our inventory, I decided to upgrade our tools. We were searching for a place to take shelter during the night, and suddenly I accidentally shot my web! But what the? Woohoo! I shot up from the ground and landed on a snow covered mountain. What happened? I think I accidentally activated my powers. Well, brother, that was incredible. But how are you coming down here? I was able to descend down a building with my claws before. I think I'll use them again to climb or descend this mountain. Uh, I think. I took out my claws and embedded them in the rocks of the mountain. This feels amazing! With this ability, I was able to reach the ground. So, what did you think about that, Jack? That was amazing, brother! You're just like that superhero from long ago. I think his name was Spider-Man. I think that's right, brother. I'm the new Spider-Man of this era. Maybe I should use these abilities to help helpless people. But with Doom's minions chasing me, it will be complicated. We need to do something. We should build a shelter to stay safe from Doom! Good idea, brother! On day number 8, we began to build our house using the wood we had gathered. With the roof already constructed, the house was nearly ready. Then, Jack crafted a couple of beds and for the moment, we decided to go to sleep. During days 9 to 13, when we woke up, we saw our house was on fire! Whoa, 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 what's happening? Brother, our house will be a big wooden stew. We need to go down there and see what's happening. Down below, we found some goblins burning our home. Hey, what are you guys doing? Stop! Oh, you're the mutant scientists, right? We have orders from Doom to capture you, so you're coming with us. You know what? That's not going to happen, ogre. You'll be our prisoner. Ogres, attack! All the ogres lunged at me, I drew my claws and started fighting them, and with my orange web I defeated some of them, but the others retreated! Oh no guys, he has the old Spider-Man's powers, let's get out of here! Yeah, and tell your friends that Spider-Man is back on roll call! Whoa brother, you fought amazingly, you scared off all those villains, although you should improve your lines, maybe you should call yourself Spider-Man 2099, you know, the year we live in. Yeah, that's a good idea, though next year should I call myself Spider-Man 2100? Hmm, good point, we'll find a better name, for now let's work on improving your lines. While we were talking, in the distance we heard some cries for help. Oh, someone please help. Oh, that sounds like someone needs our help. It's time for Spider-Man 2099 to help the helpless! Time to web up my enemy! No doubt we need to improve your lines. We quickly headed towards the cry for help and arrived in a futuristic city with flying cars. In the distance we saw some mercenaries robbing the villagers. How dare they! Brother, this is perfect! It's your chance to help these people and remember to say your iconic line when you defeat those villains! Alright, brother, I'll try to do it. Now, I'll put an end to these mercenaries! 
I shot my web towards them. Quick, idiots! Give us all your cryptocurrencies right now! Oh no, please, this month we only earn 10 cryptocurrencies. Hey, you! Stop your evil deeds in this city right now! Look, guys! It's the new Spider-Man of our time! I think we've hit the jackpot! Your head will fetch us a lot of money! <laughs> These mercenaries quickly launched at me, but I drew my claws and defeated them easily. I think humans can't handle all of my strength. I'll have to hold back a bit for them. Mass Hero, you'll save our lives. We'll give you this as a token of gratitude. Ooh, thank you very much! That was incredible, brother! Although, you didn't say your line. Maybe it could be... I am vengeance. Mmm, yeah, I don't like that a lot. We'll have to work on it. Suddenly, alarms throughout the city started ringing, alerting Doom's guards. We have to leave now, Jack. Those guards could find us at any point. We quickly escaped throughout the city. During days 14 to 15, when we arrived home, we noticed that someone was in our house. Jack, come here, we need to hide. What's happening, Migosaki? Why are you so scared? You're Spider-Man! That person in our house is a very dangerous samurai and he's one of Doom's assassins! But you can defeat them, right? I don't know, dude. This enemy is very lethal in battle. I want you to stay here. No matter what happens, I don't want you getting involved in this fight, understood? Uh, yes, of course, brother. I'll stay here. I knew the strength of this enemy, and I knew he was very dangerous, so I had to face him to prevent him from arming my brother. Hey, you! Samurai! What are you doing in my home? So you're Spider-Man. I've heard you're quite dangerous. I'd love to test your strength. After defeating you, I'll take you to do myself. It seems he doesn't know about my brother. That's good. That won't happen. If you don't leave my house, you'll experience my spider strength. I'm eager to see that. The samurai launched at me with this katana, but with my spider sense, I managed to dodge. A fierce battle began between this samurai and my spider abilities. I tried to restrain him with my orange web, but he was too fast and strong. Gradually, he started depleting a lot of my life. Even though you're strong, you'll never match my years of experience. I'll end up victorious, you little spider. Oh, this can't be. It can't happen. The samurai kept draining my life, and eventually, he defeated me. Oh. <laughs> no, bro! During day 16 to 20, I woke up in Doom's prisons and I realized I had less life. This can't be, that samurai defeated me and brought me here. I hope he didn't harm my brother. As I got up, Doom stood right before me. Curse you, Dr. Doom. Why won't you leave me alone? What do you want from me? Your blood, Mikasaki. I need your blood. The experiment was a success with you, and now I'll use your DNA to cure my ailment and rid myself of this wretched metal suit! But if you take my DNA, I might die! I won't let you do this to me! You have to understand, Mikasaki. It's nothing personal. Your blood could give me the powers to win the country's wars. Besides, these bars are made of ultra vibranium. It will be impossible for you to escape. As a small consolation, I will tell you you are one of my finest scientists. Now boys, prepare the capsules immediately! Curse you, Dr. Doom! I won't let you get away with this! You want my powers for evil! When Doom left, I quickly drew my claws and tried to break the ultra vibranium bars. But even with my abilities, I couldn't break them. Damn it! I'm trapped here, but at least my brother will be safe from doom once and for all. So I can be happy with that. Just when I thought all was lost, without my realization, my brother infiltrated the base and was approaching my cell. Psst, Spider-Man, can you hear me? What? Who's speaking to me? What? Jack, what are you doing here? It's very dangerous. Don't worry, dude. This is what brothers do. Now stay quiet. I'll get you out of there. Jack pulled out his iron pickaxe and broke the bars of my cell. That was really brave, Jack. Now let's get out of here. I'm too weak to fight this. Careful. All right, let's go. We quietly made our way to the exit, but suddenly Dr. Doom appeared in front of us. Where do you think you're going, Vermin? I told you you'd become part of my experiment. Now guards, capture him! All of the Doom's guards launched at me to attack, but I quickly draw my claws and defended myself. With the little energy I had left, I managed to defeat all of the guards. 
but I still had very few hearts remaining. Damn it, I don't have the energy to face you, villain, curse you! Then I'm going to take the DNA from your lifeless body! Doom launched a super attack Jake against this. me, but my brother stepped in! No! Jack, no! And my brother sacrificed himself to save me! Curse you, Doom! I didn't mean to kill your brother, but that insect would have died anyway! What did you say? Filled with rage, I drew my claws and launched at Doom! We began to fight hand to hand, he also drew his sword and in a frenetic battle, I dodged all of his attacks! And then I used my web to restrain him and finish him off! Curse you! Stay still, damn it! You've tired me out! Doom started gaining the upper hand, but I managed to block all of his attacks! Now I counterattacked it and severely wounded him! This is your end, Doom! Oh no, this doesn't hand here, Spider! You're going to die just like your brother! What? Doom recharged his superpower and attacked me with a laser beam, shaking the entire laboratory! What did you do, you idiot? Suddenly, with an explosion on day number 21, we found ourselves beneath the laboratory! Oh darn it! That villain destroyed everything! Where is he? When I regained consciousness, I saw Doom escaping in the distance! I quickly chased after him, but suddenly, a strange portal opened in front of me! What the heck? What is this? And from the portal emerged a super strange creature! This is not a path, Mr. O'Hara. Who the hell are you? I am Morlum, and I can help you restore your brother's life, but you'll have to do something for me first. This is a unique opportunity in your life, Migalsaki. The strange vampire explained that he came from the multiverse and he knew a way to bring my brother back to life. If that's true, what do I have to do to bring him back? Come with me, I will teach you all about the multiverse. Enter this portal. Morlum opened the portal and with the goal of bringing back my brother in my mind, I entered the dimension. During days 22 to 26, as we entered the portal, we arrived at a sort of castle. But what is this place? It looks so strange. This is my home, Migalsaki. Here I have the power to traverse the multiverse, a multiverse that's being affected by variants of you. Multiverse? Variants of me? What are you talking about? A picture is worth a thousand words, I'll show you. Merlin turned around and cast a spell that summoned a bunch of screens, and on all these screens were variants of me? What is all this? Are these other Migalsakis like me? Specifically, they are variants of Misaki Gamer, a very annoying character, and I still haven't found the original version, but all of these variants are destroying everything we know. And what am I supposed to do? I need you to bring the anomalies of each universe to me, that way I can solve the problems and feed off their multiversal blood. <laughs> I just want to see my brother again, how can this help me? If there are more versions of you, there are also other versions of your brother. You'll go to Universe 566, where your brother is Spider-Man. In that universe, there are six anomalies you must bring me. Do that, and you can stay with your brother. At first, I was hesitating to help this deranged vampire, but if I could see my brother again, I'd accept any risk. Alright, Merlum, I'll find the anomalies that you need. A wise choice. Now, if you encounter other versions of yourself, you must inform me immediately. I'll be watching you at all times. Now go, I'll open you this new portal. I quickly entered the portal to go see my brother. During days 27 to 30, I arrived in a new city with somewhat old-fashioned buildings. These buildings look very old. What year am I in? In the distance, I saw a Spider-Man fighting against a giant black beast. Damn spider, you're not Peter Parker, but I'll eat you anyway! <laughs> You'll return to your dimension, foul creature! I should help Spider-Man, he seems in trouble! Using my web, I swung in to help Spider-Man! I drew my claws and started fighting with this black monster! What? Another spider? But how is this possible? What? Who are you and why are you dressed like Spider-Man? My name is Miguel Saki, and I'm also a Spider-Man. I'll explain everything later. We continue to battle this beast, although this monster was dealing a lot of damage to me and came close to defeating me. Together with the Spider-Man of this universe, we finally defeated him. Oh, thank you so much for helping, but who are you, sir? 
My name is Miguel Saki and I'm a Spider-Man from another universe. I explained the whole situation to the Spider-Man of this universe, although his voice sounded very familiar to me. And I remember correctly that Morlum told me my brother was the Spider-Man of this universe. So I asked him, by the way, are you Jack O'Hara? What are you talking about? How do you know that name? Are you Mysterio? Are you trying to trick me? Reveal your identity, villain! No, 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 wait, I told you! My name is Miguel Saki! Lies! My brother is dead! You're Mysterio the villain! My brother Jack was completely confused and started attacking me, thinking I was a villain. I managed to dodge his punches. I didn't use my claws against him because I didn't want to harm him. Jack used his web against me and he was very accurate with his shots. Enough Jack, let me explain! Imposter! Jack wouldn't listen, so I used my webs to restrain him. What are you doing? Let me go! Listen to me, Jack. This is very important. I quickly explained the situation to my brother and took off my mask so that he could see who I really was. Whoa, you really are my brother. It seems that the multiverse is indeed real. Jack also took off his mask to show me that he was my brother. Whoa, brother, you've become a real superhero. I'm so proud of you. Thank you very much, Miguel Saki. Jack explained to me that my version of this universe died sacrificing himself for him, just like what happened in my universe. It seems that all Spider-Man lose someone dear to them. He also told me about a group of heroes led by someone called Superior Iron Man. Suddenly, the Venom monster stood up! You got lucky this time, but next time I'll defeat you, little spiders! <laughs> And then the alien creature escaped from us. You're a cowardly alien creature. Don't worry, Spider-Man, or should I say brother? I don't quite know how to put this, but we'll go to the hero's headquarters. Iron Man is my mentor. He's going to help us capture the villains who have come to our dimension. What? You already have a mentor? Mm, okay, let's go meet this Iron Man. We quickly left the city and during days 31 to 34, we arrived at the Stark Tower. So this old dump is where Iron Man lives? Yes, don't worry, this is his personal tower, he's a super millionaire, Mr. Stark is truly amazing. Well, I'm just saying that in my dimension, my lab was much cooler. Jack, what are you doing here? Oh, Mr. Stark, what's up? My brother explained the whole situation to Iron Man and he also told him that there were new villains from the multiverse. This is my brother from another universe, he held me against that alien Venom. Well, it seems the multiverse theory it's true. You'll have to gear up better to defeat these enemies. I'll create new web shooters for you to insult your suits, especially yours, Miguel Saki. It looks somewhat outdated. What? You won't upgrade my suit, it works just fine as is. Suit yourself, Spider-Man 299. Jack, I need you to gather the materials from this list. I'll upgrade your web shooters. Alright, sir, I'll get them. And after this, Iron Man returned to his lab. Let's go, brother, let's search for the materials on this list. I want to upgrade my suit to look just like yours. I don't understand why Mr. Stark didn't like your suit. It looks incredible. Yeah, I don't really care for that scientist. Don't worry, you'll grow fond of him eventually. Now let's go find those materials. Using our web shooters, we searched for a cave. And once we found one, my brother gave me an iron pickaxe. And we descended to gather the materials on that list. We collected some gold, redstone and iron. In this universe I felt somewhat strange. My molecules were vibrating at an accelerated pace. Relax brother, your body will get used to it. How about we swing around a bit to distract ourselves? I think that's a good idea, I'll clear my mind. Together with my brother we started swinging around in the canyon. It was really fun being Spider-Man alongside my brother Jack. Woohoo! During days 36 to 40, we returned to the Stark Tower and handed over all the materials we had for Iron Man. Great job, Spider-Man. Now, take these web shooters. They have enchanted devices that will help you neutralize the power of the next villain who has arrived in our dimension. Oh no, another enemy from the multiverse! We must stop them! This must be one of the anomalies that Merlin told me about. That's right, kid. This enemy is in the western village. You must stop them. Once you do, I'll send a legion of robots to take them to the prisons. Good luck, Spider-Man. We'll stop them! Let's catch that enemy! Leaving the Stark Tower, we arrived at the location where Electro was, and everything was filled with lightning! Hey, Sparky, we're here to stop you! But who's talking to me? Oh, but you're Spider-Man. 
Squirrel, you're not a Spider-Man. That little one is a Spider-Man. What? I'm Spider-Man. Just because my suit looks different doesn't mean I'm not Spider-Man, you know? That's right, we're both Spider-Man and you'll end up in jail, Electro! Ha ha ha! That will never happen. Peter Parker couldn't defeat me and you won't either! Electro charged towards us using his speed to attack us. His electricity didn't affect our web shooters due to Stark's upgrades. I quickly took the opportunity to attack Electro with my claws, while Jack shot at him from a distance. We had the upper hand at first, but Electro pulled out an electric sword and dealt a lot of damage to me. He began flying and shooting electric rays towards us. Ha ha ha! Did you really think you had the advantage in this fight? You'll never defeat me! Curses! How will we stop him, Jack? He's too fast and strong! Well, if Electro is a battery, maybe we should throw him into the water and he'll lose his powers! Oh, I see, that's a good idea! We should give it a try! Follow me, we'll guide him towards the river! Quickly, we swung towards Electro once again! Hey, Sparky, you haven't defeated us yet! Are you a scared battery? Beep beep, scared battery, boop boop, oh he's a scared little battery. Yeah, he's an energy depleted battery, a battery without power, beep beep boop. Do you really think I'm an energy depleted battery? I'll show you all the energy I have left. With our web shooters, we cross the river, making Electro follow us. Well, it seems you're pretty slow, Sparky. Stop calling me that. As soon as Electro teleported towards us, I started hitting him with my claws and pushed him inside the water! Oh no! It can't be! Tarsis, I fell into the trap! You were lucky! And all the lightning disappeared! Great job, Jack! We defeated our first villain! These web shooters were a huge help! Yeah, because, you know, my plan had nothing to do with it. I'll call Mr. Stark to have his villain incarcerated! Mr. Stark, we have defeated Electro! Well done, kid. I'll send one of my robots to capture that villain. You can rest for today. After defeating Electro, we left the area. During days 41 to 45, we arrived at a village that was under attack by Venom's henchmen. So we quickly confronted them and defended all the villagers. Let's go, brother! Oh, Mr. Spider-Man, thank you so much for your help. Please, take these props as a token of our gratitude. Whoa, thank you very much. This brings me some kind of deja vu. Whoa, brother, you're finally recognized as a Spider-Man. You're gaining a hero's reputation in this universe. Yeah, it does feel really good. My brother explained that we could build a room in his humble house. However, when we arrived, his house wasn't as humble as he had described. What? This is your place, dude? It's incredible! Whoa, did you build this? Yeah, uh, well, Mr. Stark gave this to me for helping out in the city. It's quite nice, actually. Now take these materials and let's build you your room. During these days, we built a room for me to rest in this universe. Afterwards, we decorated it from the inside and now I could finally rest peacefully. During days 46 to 51, we used the crops given to us by the villagers to set up a small farm in this area. This looks fantastic, dude! Yeah, now we'll have unlimited food! Suddenly, Superior Iron Man arrived to inform us about the new villains threatening this universe. Four anomalies have appeared. There are two in the desert and two in a city. You'll have to split up to face these threats. Darn it, we'll have to fight separately! And what are these anomalies? According to Jarvis, two of them are other Spider-Man and the other two are villains. Here's the location of the first anomaly. And take this, Migalsaki. You'll go there. I need you to defeat them and contact me immediately. More anomalies will likely appear soon. After this, Superior Iron Man left. Okay, brother, we'll have to split up. Good luck on your mission. You too, brother. Be careful. I'll defeat the anomalies as quickly as possible and come find you. Still worried about my brother, we separated to search for the enemies. Following the map, I arrived at the desert and saw a villain attacking a Spider-Man from far away! Peter Parker, tell me how to get back to my universe. I already told you, I don't know! I've just arrived in this universe too! Without hesitation, I decided to help this Spider-Man, whose appearance was quite peculiar. Nevertheless, we defeated all of the Sand Twisters! Thank you so much, my friend! You are a Spider-Man, right? Yes, that's right, and you're quite an unusual Spider-Man. Hey! You spider think you could defeat me? 
that was solely a fraction of my power. And Sandman transformed into a giant sand monster! Oh no! Don't worry, friend. If we work together... Ah! Sandman suddenly attacked Spider Lego, and now the two of us fought against this monster together, using our webs to try to restrain him. However, he was too strong and took away a lot of my health. At one point, he summoned a bunch of sand zombies to fight alongside him. Now you'll see my cool power. I pulled out my claws and fought all of these sand zombies. Together with Spider-Man Lego, we unleashed a web blast and managed to defeat the Sandman. Ah! Whew, that was tougher than I thought. We did a great job, my dude. Indeed, my friend. I ended up in this place through a really weird portal. Yeah, same here, Spider-Man. This Spider-Man Lego was named Peter Parker. I explained the entire multiverse situation to him and that my brother was fighting villains from other universes. So I quickly contacted Iron Man and informed him that we defeated the Sandman. I'll send my robots. From the skies, one of Iron Man's robots arrived. I'll take care of this anomaly. And the robot flew the villain away. Hey, Peter, we need to get out of here right now. My brother is in danger. Let's go, my friend. During days 52 to 56, we arrived at the village under attack by the Green Goblin. And my brother was in trouble. <laughs> Even if you're not Peter Parker, you're just as annoying as him. That's why you'll die! <laughs> that won't happen, Green Goblin! My brother and the Green Goblin started fighting, but the villain gained the upper hand and defeated my brother! <laughs> oh no! We need to help my brother! Come on, let's go! Now you'll die, Spider-Man! That won't happen! I started shooting at the Green Goblin until I managed to knock him out of his glider! I'll defeat you, Anomaly! What? Another Spider-Man? I'll kill all of you spiders! Without hesitation, I started attacking the villain. He had some strange bombs that were hurting us, but I managed to subdue him with my claws. Together with Spider-Man Lego, we webbed him up and defeated the Green Goblin. Great job, friend! Yeah, that was an amazing teamwork! You fight really well, dude! Yeah, friends, that was incredible! And you're a Spider-Man too, right? You look pretty funny, friend! Yeah, well, your universe is pretty strange too. We explained the whole situation to my brother and that we had captured another villain, so Jack quickly called Iron Man's robots to take away the goblin. Okay, a robot from Iron Man will be here soon. For now, follow me. There's another Spider-Man here that we need to free. We followed my brother Jack and arrived at the prison where there was a pig Spider-Man? Hey friend, my brother and this other Spider-Man managed to defeat the Green Goblin. We're going to set you free now. Wow, this is incredible. There are so many Spider-Mans. I'm not so sure if this is a good or a bad thing, but if there are more Spider-Man, it means the whole multiverse is collapsing. But I'm sure glad to have more companions, oink. Don't worry, friend. Together we'll defeat the villains entering this universe. Let me set you free now. With my iron pickaxe, I broke the bars of his cell and we freed the little pig. But as we were about to leave, we saw as an Iron Man robot descended to apprehend the villain. We'll take care of this little goblin. And you see there are more Spider-Man. Iron Man told us that we should expand our Spider-Man lair. You should expand your spider lair. We'll do that. During days 57 to 60, we discussed the new base we were going to build. So with my brother, we went to search for a cave to gather a ton of stone. In that mine, we found a bunch of diamonds too. Whoa, brother, look at this. This is amazing. We have so many diamonds. Yeah, being Spider-Man and having diamonds is the best. That's right, bro. And hey, if you like Spider-Man, subscribe to get as many diamonds as we have. Yes, yes, please subscribe. Yeah, friends, subscribe. Hey, hold on, guys. We accidentally dropped the diamonds into the lava. Oh, don't worry, bro. Our friend subscribed very quickly and I still have some diamonds left. Oh, excellent! After gathering the materials, we started tearing down the house that was there and began building the Spider-Man base. We placed the logo that identifies us and the headquarters was ready. Inside the base, I explained to my friends that I was going to look for Mr. Stark to improve my suit. But in reality, I went to the city to find the villain Venom and defeat him once and for all. Oh gosh, I need to find that alien. Where is he? I was searching for the villain until suddenly, out of nowhere, a portal opened right in front of me! What the? In a flash of light on day 61, I was teleporting to Morlum's home! 
What am I doing here, Merlum? I'm doing my job. I already defeated three of these anomalies. You're wasting your time, Mikosaki. You need to hurry. If you don't catch them in the next few days, that dimension could collapse and your brother could die again. What? What do you mean, Merlum? You need to move faster to capture the remaining four villains, especially Venom. That's why I'll give you a multiversal object to help you on your next mission. Good luck. Merlum showed me the multiversal cape that would help me traverse the world and find those villains. I quickly took it off the shelf and put it on me to try it out. This new cape adapted to me so nicely and it even increased my hearts. Whoa, this fits incredibly Merlum, thank you. This cape will help you move around to capture the anomalies you need. Now go! Merlin opened up the portal and I quickly entered to find the remaining four villains. So during day 62 to 66, as I arrived in the city, I saw that everything was dark and the buildings were on fire. In the distance, I could see the alien Venom and he was fighting some kind of robot Spider-Man. You alien, I'll defeat you! I'll destroy your robot and then I'm going to eat you! <laughs> no! My robot! Oh no, I must help that Spider-Man! Using my new cape, I glided towards Venom and started attacking him with my webs! You again, Mikosaki! I don't care how many spiders from the multiverse exist! I'll devour all of them! We started fighting fiercely and Venom was dealing a lot of damage to me! Oh no! Peter Parker couldn't defeat me and you little spiders won't either. I'll devour all of you and become the strongest Venom in the multiverse. <laughs> Venom continued attacking me, but this little Spider-Man suddenly joined the fight and started helping me. We began shooting at Venom, however he was too strong and we had no chance. This will be your end. But suddenly, the whole world turned black and white and the new Spider-Man arrived jumping off from the building. Looks like we need to teach this alien a lesson. This new Spider-Man dressed in a monochrome outfit webbed up Venom and immobilized him. What? What's going on? I see everything in black and white. What the hell is this? Who are you, mister? That's not important right now. We need to go. The monster will escape in a minute. Quickly, the three of us used our web shooters and left the place. When we got back home, the monochrome Spider-Man called Noir explained the situation to us. He said that a portal brought him to this dimension, just like everyone else. I don't know what happened back there, but something brought me to this wall full of strange colors. I was also absorbed by a portal and encountered that monster that destroyed my machine. Don't worry, Penny. We have the technology here to help you rebuild your robot. That sounds great, friend. For now, I went to find some wool to build rooms for the new Spider-Man. I crafted some shears and started collecting wool from the sheep. I returned then home and built some rooms for the new Spider-Man. In Penny's room, I set up some technological machines to help her rebuild a robot. In Spider-Man Noir's room, I used these blocks of this color to make it feel like home. After setting up Penny in her room, she expressed her gratitude. Wow, thank you so much for everything, Miguel Saki. For now, you are my favorite Spider-Man. You're welcome, friend. I hope you can recover your robot soon. Later, I went to show Noir to his room. Reminds me of my home. Thanks, Miguel Saki. But what's this block here? It looks super strange. Oh, that old thing. That's a Rubik's diamond. It looks super fun. Can you keep it, right? Um, sure. During day 66 to 70, I went to look for my brother. But in the distance, I heard a really loud noise. Whoa, what was that? I better go investigate. As soon as I arrived at the scene, I saw this wizard fighting a giant monster. I think that hero's name is Doctor Strange. I better go help him. He's surrounded by zombies. Using my web shooters, I joined the battle and helped this superhero to defeat this villain called Abomination. Hello there, friend. Hi, who are you? I'm Spider-Man, don't worry. I'm going to help you beat this beast. Doctor Strange began using his spells and together with my web shooters, we managed to defeat Abomination. The wizard conjured a spell that teleported the villain to Iron Man's personal prison. Whew, that was quite challenging. Hey, how are you, Doctor? Hey, you're not the Spider-Man in this universe. You are an anomaly. You're very present cool of fat owl universe. I'll send you back to your dimension right now. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'm here to help in this universe. There are many multiversal anomalies affecting the timeline. Besides, my brother is alive in this universe. 
I want to save him from that alien venom. So please, let's work together. We can defeat them. Okay, understand. But if you're going to help this universe, you need to be stronger. You are troubled against abomination. Follow me. I'll introduce you to someone who can train you. Okay, that sounds good to me, Strange. I'll follow you. During day 71 to 74, we arrived in the jungle where there was an abandoned house. Whoa, this place looks like a dump. Don't worry. A Spider-Man who has experienced the multiverse lives here. He could help you in this situation. Yeah, I highly doubt that. Doctor Strange you know, called Paco? out for the Spider-Man you know, who lived in this abandoned house and he was in pajamas. Wow, wow, wow. Who's Jelin? Oh, but it's Mr. Strange. What's up, dude? Doctor Strange explained the whole situation to this Spider-Man and asked him if he could train me as well. Oh, of course, Mr. Strange. I should train this Spider-Man. You're a Spider-Man, right? You look quite strange. Yeah, you see, I'm a Spider-Man from another universe where we wear pants. Seriously, Strange, this is the best that you could come up with? Yes, his appearance might not be the best, but he has experience in the multiverse. He might help you, and then we can look up the anomalies. I'll leave you here. Good luck. And Doctor Strange flew away. Okay, it seems like Mr. Strange likes you. Now follow me, we'll start your first training session. <sighs> this is going to be a waste of my time. We started with my first training, which was swinging on obstacles. Pretty easy, I'd say. The first thing you'll do is shoot your web like this. Oops, wrong shooter. I meant to say like this. And now you'll swing by titling your legs forward. And Peter Parker B started swinging in an incredible manner. It seemed like I had underestimated him. I quickly decided to follow his lead so I wouldn't stay behind. Wow, you're not bad at all, dude. You did it on your first try. I think you might be a better Spider-Man than me. But now let's move on to the second test. The second test was some target practice with our web shooters. And this was actually pretty easy since I faced so many enemies until now. We moved on to the third test where we had to climb this tower. As you know, for Spider-Man to climb, we need to control the flow of atomic forces and attract surface molecules to achieve wall adhesion. Oh, I just use my claws and climb normally like the rest. What? You have claws? Are you sure you are Spider-Man? Anyway, just climb those obstacles. Using my Spider-Man claws, I quickly went up these trees and started climbing. There were various obstacles in the way, but I managed to dodge them and reach the top of the trees. Um, so uh, what am I supposed to do now? Now take a leap of faith. It's the final step to becoming a Spider-Man. What? I can't hear you. What are you saying? All I'm saying is that you need to trust yourself and fall toward the target. What? Ugh, I can't hear anything you're saying. I'll just jump from here when you leave a like, my friend. Come on, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy Spider-Man and Misaki Gamer videos. What are you waiting for? Jump already! Without knowing what Spider-Man was saying, I jumped from up there and with the help of my cape I reached the target. How did that feel? Well, that wasn't exactly what I had in mind for a leap of faith, but I guess it works. I think you're ready for the next mission. Peter Parker B explained that a new villain had arrived in this universe, a giant lizard. So we went looking for it. During day 75 to 78, we arrived in some strange sewers where all the water was color purple. What is this, Peter? Why is the water in this color? This water is this color due to the multiverse. This universe will be affected if we don't deal with the enemies. Keeping this in mind, we started advancing throughout the sewers to find the lizard. We encountered several small lizards along the way and we quickly defeated them with our skills. Continuing throughout the multiverse of water, we finally encountered the lizard and he was at some computers. Okay, we got him. I'll handle this, Migosaki. You just watch and learn from the master. We approached the lizard and Peter started talking to him. Hey, Lizzie, it's time for you to go to jail. Peter Parker, what are you doing in my lab? And you brought another Spider-Man too. This time I'll annihilate you. The lizard jumped towards us and transformed into a massive creature. This didn't go as planned. Yeah, I can see that, dude. Now I'm going to kill you, arachnids. The lizard jumped at us and we began fighting it. It was too powerful and it was destroying everything in its path. It also called in a swarm of small lizards, but we managed to defeat them and we dealt significant damage to the main lizard. It's time to defeat it. You curse spiders! Finally, with our web shooter, we defeated the lizard and it reverted to its original form. <sighs> Great job, Migosaki. You fight really well. 
Now call Mr. Stark to come pick this lizard. But suddenly, a portal opened in the middle of the air and Doctor Strange appeared on it. Great job, spiders. I'll take care of this lizard. You can take the day off. Whoa, did you hear that, Miguel? We're done here. We have the day off. Let's go get some delicious sodas. But we can't rest yet, Peter. We need to find my brother and the other Spider-Man to help them. Yes, well, we'll see that later. For now, let's go have some sodas. I'll wait you at the exit. Jeez, what a lazy Spider-Man. Are you sure you can take care of this, Strange? Yes, don't worry. I got this under control. You can go with Peter. Okay, Strange, you got it. I exited this place and went after Peter. You will never take me down, you filthy wizard! Relax, lizard. I'm not just a stupid magician. What the? Mysterio, what are you doing here? Right now, I'll free you. We'll go look for the other villains. I've defeated Superior Iron Man, and now we have a clue uh, to annihilate those little spiders. <laughs> on day 79, we were in the city searching for Iron Man. And what will we do on our day off, dude? Have some sodas? I already told you no, we're going to look for Iron Man, he knows where my brother is. Don't you know what fun is, Migosaki? We need to save the universe first! While we were running, a portal suddenly opened in front of us and we entered it at maximum speed! Whoa! In a flash of light, we found ourselves facing Merlum! What are you doing, Migosaki? Why haven't you captured all of the anomalies? Your brother might be in danger! But what are you talking about? We've defeated almost all of them! Only the monster Venom remains, and with all my spider friends, we can defeat him once and for all! Ain't that right, Peter? Back me up here! Uh, oh, yeah, sure, we'll do it, of course! And who is this companion of yours? Oh, doesn't matter. Just defeat those villains and gather all the Spider-Man for me. Please, hurry! Behind us, another portal opened and Peter and I entered through it. During days 80 to 84, when we returned to the normal world, we saw that this world was being affected by the multiverse. The villains that we defeated until now were now on the streets, destroying the entire city. I think we have problems. Someone has released the villains we defeated. Yes, this isn't good. We better defeat them and find our friends. We leaped into the city and started fighting off Venom's little spiders and the little lizards from that giant mutant lizard. Without wasting any time, I took out my claws and together with Peter, we defeated all of these enemies. This is really bad, dude. The multiverse can even affect us. I'll go look for our friends and my brother. You need to find Doctor Strange so that he can help us defeat Venom. Good plan. Good luck, Maigosaki. We both went our separate ways with our missions. During days 85 to 89, when I got home, I saw Spider-Ham and Noir fighting sandstorms and desert zombies. These were the minions of Sandman. I decided to join in the fight and the three of us managed to defeat all of these enemies. Guys, guys, what's going on here? We've already defeated all of these enemies, how can there still be more of them? We were training in the broad daylight when the sky turned purple. That's right, dude, and then your brother saw a portal, which... But before Porky could finish his sentence, both Spider-Man disappeared with a glitch. No, what just happened? They disappeared? I quickly entered the house to find the other Spider-Man, but neither my brother nor Spider-Man Lego was there. I also didn't find Penny, so I swiftly left and headed for the city. During days 90 to 96, I was searching for Tony Stark. However, when I reached the city, I saw that everything was destroyed and filled with portals. Stark Tower now read villains. It seemed like those evildoers had taken over and defeated Iron Man. Darn it, this is really bad. Oh, I hope my brother is safe at least. I hurriedly headed towards the tower and started climbing it. Once I reached the top, I didn't see anyone. Instead, I found Iron Man's computers and what seemed like Penny's robot. I guess they're really gone too. Oh no, this can't be happening. If you want to know what happens next, please leave a like right now and subscribe, my friends. Suddenly, there were a lot of lightning bolts hitting the tower and outside Electro appeared. Oh no, we've already defeated you, villain! I was bitten before, but now you'll be fried the spiders in the Tower of Villains. 
this isn't your tower, it's the hero's tower and you'll pay for everything you've done to the Spider-Man. I quickly unsheathed my claws and started fighting him, although he quickly neutralized my attacks with his electric sword. At one point he began flying and his lightning bolts dealt a lot of damage to my suit. Oh stupid battery, get down here right now and fight you coward! You're slower than Peter Parker, Migasaki. You are the worst Spider-Man I've ever encountered and now you'll die. Electro came to attack me and I was down to just one heart, but suddenly my brother arrived and surrounded Electro with water. We'll always defeat you Electro, now be gone! Ah, Thunder and Lightning, damn it! Whoa, that was incredible Jack, you defeated Electro! That's right, but there are still other villains to defeat. I confronted Mysterio and he told me that you released all of the other villains. I still don't know where Mr. Stark is, but we need to find the other Spider-Man. Suddenly, we received a call from Mr. Stark's computers and immediately both of us entered to receive the call. We saw that Penny Parker was calling. Miguel Saki, are you there? We're in trouble. The villains have defeated Mr. Stark. Where are the Avengers headquarters? You need to come quickly. Oh no, they're in danger, brother. We have to help. Come on, follow me. I know where they are. We left the Stark Tower and we quickly headed towards the call for help. So during days 97 to 99, we arrived at the location and saw that all the villains were gathered and our fellow Spider-Man were captured here. Hey, what do you think you're doing, you idiots? You better release all those Spider-Man if you don't want to die right now. <laughs> Did you hear that, guys? These spiders think they'll defeat us. Neither Peter Parker nor all the spiders of the multiverse could defeat us. And you won't either, little spider siblings O'Hara. <laughs> You'll pay for everything you did to Mr. Stark. Grr, attack, boys! All of the villains lunged at us and we tried to fight them, but we were only two Spider-Man against five villains! It was going to be impossible to defeat all of them, and gradually they started dealing a lot of damage to us, until eventually they managed to defeat us. <laughs> Did you really think you could stand a chance against us? You're just a couple of insects. Damn you! We'll rise as many times as necessary to defeat you! Whatever you say, you're going to die anyway! Suddenly, a portal opened behind us and Doctor Strange and Peter Parker B emerged from outside! Spider-Man, we've come to hell! We'll defeat this villain! Incredible! You arrived just in time! We would never leave you hanging, dude! Let's fix the multiverse once and for all! Uh, insolence! That won't happen! You're going to die now! Doctor Strange quickly launched at the villains and we all started fighting together. Jack and Peter shot their webs while the rest of us engaged in end-to-hand -end combat. At one point, I saw an opportunity and went to free my friends. I started breaking the prison barriers and released all of the Spider-Man. Now, with everyone together, we finally joined the fight. Let's go defeat them! Attack! Together with the Spider Society, we started fighting back and this time we outnumbered the villains. Come and play, you little spiders! We'll defeat you! You damn spiders! We'll reduce them to asses! Take this, scoundrel! We'll beat them to fall! Let's defeat them! And in a massive battle, we defeated all of them! Now, all of you will return to your universe! No! Damn it, I'll come back for you, spiders! I'll devour every single one of you! And we'll be waiting for you, ugly! Now, Strange! And Doctor Strange cast a mega spell that made all the villains disappear! No! On day 100, all the villains vanished from this universe and Doctor Strange wanted to address some sweet words to all of us. Spider-Man, you did a great job. Now, Miguel Saki, you could take care of the multiverse problem. I see you have a great team supporting you in battle. Thank you for the kind words, Doctor Strange. I'll go ask my friends if they agree, of course. Spider friends, are you all on board with solving the multiverse's problems from now on? Yes, yes my friends. friends! Excellent, friends! And so this video concludes with Miguel Saki and his spider friends entering the multiverse. If you want to know how this story continues, the goal is 1,000 likes.